What is up YouTube? Carla here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, I wanted to share with you my top 5 basketball sneakers. Now please take note, I'm not a super competitive basketball person. I used to play when I was younger, uh, but ever since my full ACL tear, I haven't been playing a lot. However, to make this video a little bit more interesting and so you get more value out of it, I actually invited one of the best basketball performance sneaker reviewers here in the Philippines, Mark Chess, to share also his take on the top 5 basketball sneakers that he has. Let's go! So I'll kick things off with like a few sneakers from my list, then we'll go on over outside and meet Marches. So the first one, and again, please take note, these are like basketball lifestyle sneakers. All the serious basketball shoes are with him. So the first up, this one is the LeBron 16 Low Safari. I think this is like the Atmos exclusive. Uh, this is special for me for several reasons. Once it's super comfortable, perfect. It actually works well with my wide feet. And number two, it was a gift from DJ Big Boy Chang. So all of those things makes it such a special shoe in my opinion. And I just love the overall design and the pop of the sneaker. I love the zipper enclosure there in the middle, the print here at the back. It's just a really well-built, well-designed, nice aesthetic looking basketball shoe. And then we have, of course, my favorite Jordan right now. This is the Jordan 3. And of all the Jordan 3s that I have in my collection, this is by far my favorite. This is the Jordan 3 Justin Timberlake Higher Higher Sneaker. So I love brown. You have brown all over it with suede. I swapped out the leather brown laces for the orange laces to give it a little bit more pop. And yeah, it's just a well-built shoe. I mean, the quality is amazing. The way higher is written here on the side is just great. I love the pop of the yellow with the orange here along the side of the laces. Super comfortable. Works well for my wide feet. And I love the story of this shoe. To those who don't know, uh, Justin Timberlake made this with the song Higher Higher in Mind, which was a tribute to his marriage. So it's a really nice, you know, it's a really nice story all around. Uh, and I think it's a great reminder of not just style and overall hype, but also of, you know, really prioritizing what matters most in life, which is not really your shoes. It's really the people that you want to invest your time and effort in. Boom! So guys, I'm here with Marches. Boom! Oh, right? yeah, He's right. one of the best, absolute best basketball performance review sneaker YouTubers here in the Philippines. You have to check out his channel. Amazing, amazing reviews. And for today, we're going to ask him on his like favorite basketball sneakers because like what I mentioned earlier, my opinion doesn't really count. So. <laughs> when it comes to performance shoes. But for this guy, he can really give like a solid review or at least take on the shoes that he has because he plays with them a lot. So with that said, let's go to his picks. Hello everyone. So right now I'm with my some of my basketball sneakers. So the main priorities, my reasons that I chose these sneakers are based on traction, important attraction. That's the number one important thing for me. And next one is of course cushion. Especially for our age, yes, our niece will be thanking us. <laughs> Old age is real. To those who are still young, hahabul din kaysa Yeah. <laughs> like even if you're young, you your niece will thank you. Like you were, you're lucky now that there's a lot of tech right now for cushioning, for tractions. You, you will... know, you know what? That's a good point because I remember mm. when the first Jordans came out. Yeah. The cushioning wasn't that good. Yeah, it's For really example, but the Jordan ones really sucks. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I lang mo marami insulto dun. But it's not the best cushioning yeah. experience, no? No, talaga. Like even the pennies, like I remember yung team ako, like they were good because they're my idols. But cushioning wise, yeah, technology talaga. wasn't good. It was more of the the idolatry to some extent of the yeah. stars who were wearing the shoes, no? So now you get a, a mix of both. You have good names with the shoes, mm -hmm. and then you have the technology to go with it. Yeah. So, so let's go. You guys bro. are lucky. So here are some of my top. So I'm rounding them off first, the most available ones right now, and the practicality in terms of prices and the tech that you'll be getting. So for my fifth place sneaker is the Dame Fives, oh. and it has a full color. length bounce cushioning. And what I love about this sneaker is the bounce cushioning and court feel and responsiveness. And of course, support and also the traction. But 
it's in my fifth place because the traction is not that consistent in all colorways. So you have to be careful to choose which one. One, which, one. Yeah, which this one for you is the best. Yeah, because the way. the first colorway that I had was the uh, Chinese New, New Year, Year one, and it really sucked. Like <laughs> I gave it like five chances. I was really slipping the traction. So. That's a no no for so, me. So, a quick question of the interview. No? Yeah. So, wh why is bounce better than boost when it comes to basketball? For bounce, um, you'll have more responsiveness and court feel is better, saka stability wise. Because the boost is more plush. Ah. So, there's the tendency that you sag on the boost cushioning. Oh, yeah. I, you so even get stability. that when you're running in the ultra boost. Yes. So, yeah, I, I get it. I get yeah, it. That's the main difference on stability and mainly responsiveness. So there's a little bit more delay. Uh, yeah. So you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't no notice it if you're just using boost. But if you're like me, I try all kinds of cushioning. So that's when you really will see the difference. Notice, yeah. Okay. Between bounce and boost, but so number, that's there. So number five is the Dame five. Dame five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How much in broke? Would you this remember? is six thousand pesos Not or one twenty. One twenty. One twenty US. 120 US. Okay. Next. Next up is the LeBron Yon. 16s. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yeah, it's also my favorite, but it's not. It's still on the higher side of things, nine thousand eight hundred. Yeah, really pricey. Bucks. Yeah, pricey. But especially for this one, traction, amazing traction, dusty court, no problem. Doesn't pick up a lot of dust, and of course the Zoom Max units, very good for, of course, high jumping play athletes, and if you're a big guy who wants impact protection, maximum impact protection on these ones. And also the responsiveness, although it, is, it has a Zoom Max unit, it's still very good in terms of responsiveness. The only downside with the LeBron 16s is because it's flying it, there's a little bit of delay when you're doing lateral movements. Oh, and okay. of course you're higher off the ground, so there's some, sometimes at least don't like that, especially when you have when you sprain your ankle, so knock on wood or knock on glass. <laughs> and well, it's a wood. Yeah, yeah, it's a wood, it's a wood. <laughs> if you're high, if you sprain your ankle, if you twist it, so there's a lot of uh, there's a more tendency that more risk, more risk, injury, higher yeah. ankle injuries. Okay. So that's the only downside. Well, what what do you one. prefer, the the lows or the the norm? Actually, no difference. No difference. Yeah, for it's you. aesthetic it's more style. style. Okay. Yeah, style. Okay. But okay. I like the, the fly knits, eh? And the uh, battle nets. The battle nets, yeah. It looks nicer. Yeah, and I, and I love the designs of the Lebrons. Eh? I yeah. mean, that, that, they even came out with like more subtle colorways of this one. Yeah. The I think the most recent one was like a triple black mm -hmm. uh, Lebron low, which reminded me of the Vapor Max. But <laughs> this is actually the best looking for me, eh? best looking Massive Lebrons. Uh, th th that specific one. Yeah. Oh. The next, the Lebron 8. Well, ah, you the, mean the, the 16s? The 16s, okay. yeah. In terms of I agree. 1 to 16. I agree. I, I, the, the 12 is something new. Yeah. I'm not really liking patience. Okay, but anyway, game, there, your next one. The next one is the Why Not 0.2. Yo. And oh, by the way, the looks. reviews of the sneakers you're showing are on your channel. Yeah. So, you guys, out. if you want to watch the full reviews of that one, that one, all of those shoes, make sure to check his channel out. All of you keep. All of you keep asking me for performance reviews. Paano ko review di ako nag basketball. So paano din yun na lang siya. So anyway, go. Yeah. So this one, in terms of traction rin, this traction is amazing on the dusty court. Especially, I remember one time that I played in a really bad court. All of my teammates and opponents were slipping and I was the only one gripping. With that shoe? Yeah, wow. it's because of that's this. A, that's a good, ano, huh? yeah. that's like a good, what do you call that? Review. <laughs> yeah. In terms of traction, if you're playing indoor and outdoor, and the rubber compound is really good too. Nice. And if you're a player, if you're a big guard who likes, like, especially like Parang Westbrook type of player, there's a Parang Power guard. You will love the sneaker because of the support. And of course, the, the cushioning. Containment, mo, solid, eh? Yeah, containment your, support your here. Feet won't move around yeah. too much. Mm. Here. Uh, a, thoughts pala on ano? Westbrook leaving. Uh, I think uh, it's about time because he was left He was left by Paul George, another yeah, yeah, teammate. Yeah. So I, I'm kind of sad that he has to transfer in another team because I like him playing for OKC. I thought he was retire. He will retire in oh, no, OKC. OKC. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, so kind of surprised. He has to move on 
to chase for a ring. Okay, so anyway, so that's number, number what are we? Number three? Number three. Okay, so let's go yeah. to Traction number... Traction cushioning. Okay, number two. Of course, right now, one of my faves, KD-12s. Nice. Well, so, you, you should tell the story of your Adwan, ID. Yeah. Okay, this go. one, I id it or the Nike Bayou, that's the new term for the ID. And the reason why, because I really love the cushioning of the KD-12s. It's a full lens zoom with no strobo board. There's nothing in between your foot and the full lens zoom unit. So that's what makes this shoe special and amazing. If you want maximum cushioning, and this is, I think this is the sneaker that your niece will really thank you for. Wow, that's a good endorsement yeah. of the shoe. Uh, because that's the shoe that I need. Yeah. <laughs> you have to try this out, especially if, if, if you want to work, it, work out with this yeah. sneaker. You can work Solid. out. Yeah. Okay, but the only downside of the KD-12 is it's narrow. Yeah, I was looking at yeah. it. Eh. It's really know. narrow. Yeah. On the first pair that I had, the black and white, it has a translucent outsole. So the only downside was that it was translucent and it wasn't consistent in all floors. So I tried it out with this gum sole. I tried it in Nike Bayou. Much you. better, no? It's way, way better. As, as in, I was gripping all over. Is there a base model with the gum sole? I mean, without doing the customization? Right now, it, uh, a new Dub Nation. Sorry. Ah, the new one that Ironically speaking, out. yeah. Oh, right. yeah when leaving. <laughs> yeah, he, he left now, but... There's a Dub Nation colorway, it has a solid drop, so okay. I think that's a good, I know. Good option. It has a good traction. Okay. So that's number? Number two. Number two. And the upper is also very light if you want a very minimal sneaker on your feet. What, what material did you use for the, is this, this is the usual tongue? Yeah, this is the, 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 the stock uh, tongue. It's like a towel material. Yeah, it's man. really comfy. So pang punas ng pawis, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and this one, very breathable, <laughs> yeah. sovereign light, light on your feet. So I like this one and, and still my undefeated right now and why I still chose this to be top one It's because of the practicality the price and the tech that you're getting well-balanced cushion the PG trees very nice zoom unit in the forefoot and Impact protection in the heel the inje injected phylon is still amazing for impact protection and of course if this one the traction is Nice. This one is way, way, way better. Wow. I mean, it's Consider similar. Like this is cheaper, pa, right? Uh, cheaper, pa, to. Yeah. Dusty court, no problem. On a very clean court, stop okay, on a right. dime. Okay. Yeah. And the support on it, in the forefoot, you can see the swings. Very supportive. And even if it's a low, very supported on the heel, and, and it's very lightweight. So okay. still a PG3 undefeated right now for me. In terms of overall value? Yeah, uh, overall value. How much does this one sell for? This DG? one is 5,800. Not bad. Yeah, it's cheaper pa th than the Dame 5s. Tatampo sa'yo si Lebron. Another runner-up, Pat. Okay. Come, come, I'm still using this. Oh, the, just came out? Yeah, the Dawn Issue 1, Spider-Man. So how have you been, how's the feel so far? Yeah, the bounce cushion, very responsive. It's very similar to the Dame's. And it's way cheaper and the support for me right now is I think better than the dames. Oh that's nice. So but I have to review it some more pa. I said because usually as I use the sneaker more, sometimes it's, I change the my, my the, the review changes. The review because changes. I beat them up, no? Yeah. Okay. Then another one that I like but it's not accessible that much is you adapt BB. Ah. It's a really good performer. For you basketball, can, yeah, so it's not just gimmick. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a really good performer too. It's just really pricey. Yeah, and it's uh, no, it's not readily available for to the public. Okay, so those so you, are. Ako, we did. How many did I? Do? So I, I shared three. I shared two sneakers with you guys earlier: the LeBron 16 lows as well as the Jordan 3. Again, mine is more of a lifestyle thingy, so don't kill me for that. So these are shoes that I like to to wear. Basketball shoes that I like to wear. So this one, of course, is the Jordan Pata collaboration. I just love the look, and it is really comfortable. I mean, from all the Jordans that I've worn in the past, um, this one is one of the most comfortable sneakers that I've ever had. So from the cushioning side really really nice and the design is just cool so again you can see the difference in how we review shoes so if you want <laughs> so if you want to watch like more performance you guys have to check his channel out next the only sneaker that i think that i use really both on the performance and in terms of like i don't know like style of course you have the harden 3 
uh, volume three. This one is in the war machine colorway. So you have like some sort of metallic gray at the top. You have the boost midsole over here. I like using this in the gym because one, it's friendly for people with wide feet like me. Uh, friendly for people with flat feet as well because of the arc support. And lastly, the boost is not too thick. So if you're doing your squats, if you're doing your weights, it still works. Because if you use like an Ultra Boost, which I tried out, I used the Ultra Boost 19 for working out, not really nice. Because your feet is all over the place and the boost is just so thick. So this one, I think it's the right balance of boost with the outsole and the grip that you get with the shoes. Again, Harden Volume 3 War Machine. And the support was isn't that nice on the Ultra Boost. Oh, so this, one this one's solid. Eh. Yung, yung feet mo talaga yeah. ramdam mo na sa loob. Especially when you're, ano ba, like doing deadlifts. Because with the, the, yeah. the Ultra Boost 19, the heel is so thick. So you yeah. will zero ground. Uh, <laughs> you don't Oh, so when you it, sometimes you feel like you're, you're off yeah, balance. Yeah. So this one, despite it having boost, yung gusto ko sa kanya, the, the, the outsole is thick enough to give you that solid feel uh, on the ground. But again, it's not the best workout shoe. You can go for like a Metcon or a Reebok Nano or whatever workout shoe that you want. But hey, this one you can use for basketball, you can use for Forma, and you can also use for the gym. And lastly, uh, I ha currently have like a fixation with air up tempos Ooh, lately. Retro. So super retro. I even have like a sofa inspired by the air up tempo. So this one I bought from Got Goods. So really nice. So yeah. So ako yun ay lima ko. So, oh, so maganda. Hindi <laughs> ko na explain yung kwento, but yeah. basahin nyo, panoodin nyo lang yung review ko. So that's the next one, the up tempos. Okay guys, so that's actually it for our vlog for today. I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to subscribe. To your channel, uh, to your channel, <laughs> to this yeah. channel. I'll put the link down below as well as in the description box and pinned in the comment section. Now, to make things a little bit more interesting, we're actually going to give away shoes, right? Yeah. yeah. So and the first, raffle. so I'll, I'll give away one pair and then he'll give away one pair. For me, this is a brand new, well, it's not basketball, but it's still performance. So it's good for running. So this is the Under Armour Hover Sonic. Mm, yeah. So you have the hover technology here at the bottom for cushioning. And then you have like a nice breathable upper for, well, fin win for your running. And yeah, it's just a great all around nice looking shoe. Color red pa, di ba? Mukha kay Ronald McDonald. De joke lang. But anyway, it's a nice overall, all, all around uh, shoe, sneaker. So this one we're giving away. Ikaw bro, ano yung And I'm giving away eh, Under Armour rin. <laughs> Under Armour. Kala mo sila sponsor. Wala man lang tayo binanggit Under oh, Armour. So there you go. <laughs> Under, Under Armour Anatomic Spawn Low. That's for basketball. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so you have a running shoe and, and basketball you have a basketball sneaker. sneaker. So what are the main annex? Very simple. Guys, you have to subscribe to my channel. You have to subscribe to his channel. You have to follow me on Instagram. You have to follow him on Instagram. The links to all of that can be found down below. And I just want you guys to leave a comment down below sharing with us what your favorite basketball sneaker is. So don't pick from the ones that we showed you because we're not giving away what we have to you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so just share with us. Aminto. Oh, Aminto, Aminto, okay? So just pick, just share with us what your favorite basketball sneaker is. And don't forget to leave your IG handle so it's easier for us to contact you. So yeah, so make sure to watch out for another video that will come out on your vlog, right? Yeah. So we're doing one on our favorite workout shoes. Crossover. Yo. So that's it for now, guys. Peace. God bless. What's up?